That's a good one. Yeah. Hold on, I'll save all that for the video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Nate from Go Karts Gone Fishing. We got something a little bit different for you today. We got an unboxing of a mud skipper long tail thingamajiggy that my buddy bought and we're gonna put it together and unbox it right here today and then probably down the road we'll he'll take me for a ride and we'll see what it can do but for right now we're gonna open this box and see what it has inside for us here's the box guys mud skipper long tail mud mowers mo motors 13 to 16 horsepower surface drive sport version by Yemar so the box was kind of cracked, so we're hoping everything is still inside. Oh, sick. All right. Four it propellers. comes with That's four nice. props. It's only supposed to have two. What? It, it says it comes with two in the kit. They sent me two extras. All right, so you might not get four, but we got lucky. <laughs> and he's running a Predator 420 with a Stage 1 on it. If you look back at uh, my uh, frogging video that's the boat we're on nice kill switch got a kill switch some directions detailed slightly that's, that sounds pretty good very detailed instructions yeah, nice. sweet Save those. put them up on the counter looks like your arm okay, okay. this is foldable too that's just nice about oh that's cool dude we he's Put got stuff out of the way. how long is that tail you got now on there? A hundred inches. A hundred inch long tail coming off the back of a twelve a ten, twelve foot twelve foot John boat. I mean this is gonna be heavenly for him. Heck yeah. This thing is gonna be nice. Whoa, what is that for? Because it's uh, clutchless. Oh it has a um, chain. What five props, dude? What? What is that one? A six? Oh, that's like a serious one. That's the original Yemar one or something. Holy! Like, feel the difference. Like, <laughs> it's heavier. Hmm. Oh, that's sick, dude! Five props. Five props. Little, uh, Big shout glass, out to these uh, guys. Cavitation, See, I was thinking that was way bigger in the picture for some reason. That's not as bad, and it's removable. So even if you don't like it, you can take true, it off. True. All right. Oh, dude, this thing is so We're short. Different size sprockets to play around with the right. bearing, you know. But that's, that's why I got the one point one one to one point one four gear ratio. Got the grease fit in there. Oh, that's nice. All right. It's very well packaged. I mean. Dude, I think you need to come and let the tack on there now. No way, dude. Does it really? One of those boxes. Look at how adjustable this is. Like, yeah. Look at how many adjustments you Okay, got. so like, that's that's what attaches to your transom. Oh, wow. You can push it out. Or is that up and down? Okay, that's is, up and down. This is the trim up and down here. Oh, man. That looks very well made. 
and this is the height adjustment. <clears throat> yeah. So you get it the right depth in the water, you know? Yeah, depending on how heavy you are. Or if you have a higher trench in your boat. More grease fittings in there. Those look like stainless steel bolts. That's awesome. Box. So that's going to be... Maybe I was just from them throwing an extra prop in there. Yeah, right? That's true. So that's going to be your engine plate, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's made for left or right-handed. Yes. You switch it up. That's pretty sick. All right. So, yeah. There's this bracket. I'm not sure what that guy does yet. We'll figure it out. Back full of goodies. There's your gearbox. Holy. That looks legit, bro. <laughs> that looks awesome. It's pretty serious. It's pretty heavy duty, dude. That's for sure. Holy. Like, I guess this is how it's going to attach, what's going to attach to the to motor. back, yeah. And you'll put that big triple sprocket on there. Oh, dude, this thing is gnarly. Something. That is sweet, dude. So, I, I guess tomorrow we'll be doing an install on this on the boat. Like I said, he's got a Predator 420. Well, it depends on how froggy you feel. Oh, I feel froggy. You got a battery in them or something? Freaky, yep, yep. But when you poke them up, I'm pretty sure they charge. Like when it's oh, running. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And it says mud skip run. That's pretty cool. That's freaking sweet. Oh. I got a buddy. We have the mud skipper here, too. Let's see that. Mud skipper. Cool. Big heavy okay, duty. Okay, I was about to say it looks like a clutch, but it's it's solid. It's Big like, heavy ooh. duty, yeah. So that's so you don't break nothing. It's like a lock up <laughs> lock up clutch, but yeah. I guess it will give. I that guess. thing is serious, boy. I tell you, that's nice. Put that on a go kart. You better hold on. All right. So we got a bunch of detailed instructions. What it all comes with. We noticed that something really cool is all the bolts are in the holes where they go. So there wasn't really a giant bag of bolts. This was the only bag of bolts and a couple spacers. There's your clutch. There's like your splash guard, I guess you call it maybe. Huh? Yeah. Came with some silicone. Son of a Yeah. See. Here's the chain. Look at that bad boy. That is cool. Another gear. I'm not sure what this piece is for yet. There's your. There's the part that bolts to your transom. And your motor bra motor bracket. Your tail. There's your, your arm. Your throttle. Your kill switch. This one came with five props, guys. We don't know if they all do, but this one did. Came with a RPM gauge, plus an hours gauge, I'm sure. Yep. And I was barely on it. Oh, there she goes. She goes. It ain't moving. All right, so we we are not gonna go by the directions. We had to cut this piece of wood out to make it fit on this little John boat. Just so you know, it uh the bolts wouldn't go tight enough, so we had to put a spacer in there. But we can now have that on there, the bracket, so you guys can get a good look. Look how it's got this up and down for the height, which we're probably gonna have to. Use. All right, so heck with what the directions say. This is how we're doing it. Um, it. Yeah, we're winging it. Probably not. All right, guys. So this is like the first time you've seen in here, but there's eight bolts, four right there, and there's four on the back side here that hold that lower plate. And they're booger to get all four of them lined up. I don't. It'd be hard to do it by yourself, but you could probably do it. And there's your uh, chain tensioner there. You got to hook that on there. We'll get to that in a little bit, but. We, we think this is the best way to do it. Put it putting it on this way first. Oh, 
that the key for now? Yeah. Oh, oh she slide. Slide now. continue. Oh, man. She's tight. Every single time. Which one are you going with? The six? Nine. Nine. He's going with nine. Nice and tight. You have to put the clutch on the chain in the housing all at one time and then slide the engine through because you won't be able to get that chain over top of that clutch. No, no. And we had to use the, it looked like probably what a quarter inch spacer on the back half of the motor there. And then after you get all that done, you can reach these bolts, no. which is why they are Allen wrenches. And they are right behind the clutch, but you can get to them. So then you can put your four bolts in here and your four Allen heads in behind the clutch. He's trying to get he's trying to get the clutch spring or the tensioner spring hooked up there. He's doing a great job of that. I can edit all this out. <laughs> I'll edit that one out too. <laughs> All right, let me tell you guys what. <laughs> that spring right there, it'll get you. It'll get you. It'll fucking get you. It went through his finger bad. Freaking Jerry witnessed the whole damn thing. He's still there, bro. Jerry, Jerry witnessed the whole thing. That spring went slap through his finger, in and out, like a hook. Be careful when applying that. We got those four Allen wrenches tight. We're gonna do the clutch bolt. We're gonna do the engine bolts. Yeah, it didn't come with a clutch or a, a bolt for your shaft, so that's another one you're gonna have to get. And I don't even know the thread size on that baby, so I don't know, guys. We'll have to figure that one out. Ooh, all right, guys. It's the next morning. And uh, we got her all, for the most part, together last night. Look how pretty Dad looks. Huh? Alright, so I got a little bit of wiring to do. I got to mount this here kill switch. Wire it into the motor. Just goes to ground into your kill switch wire on the motor. And, yeah. So that's about it. Get some wires going to the battery. She'll be done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, probably put a little, could have been a little shorter, but I figured you guys want to see the whole process. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. That's another thing I got to do. I got to figure out a place to mount this light for now until he gets a top plate. Got to figure that out. So let me get with it.
I tried to get out of there before you were. Oh, get him! Get him, son! That's a pretty decent one. Oh shit! He ain't even in the weeds yet. Oh, he's in the weeds. Oh. Yeah, he's, no, I mean, he's, he's probably, that's probably the biggest one of the day, dude. Yeah, fish of the day. yeah. That's probably the best one of the day there. Hold him up. Nice. Scores. Y'all is going to be like, what the hell? Yeah. That's a good one. Sweet. Oh, man. That's a good one. Unless he's all up in the weeds, I, I can't tell. Oh no, it's a good one, dude. Damn, there was another one. Oh, he's big. I got the winner, brother. I got the winner. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice fish. Dude, Did that not pay off waiting for a few moments. Am I, is my red light flashing? Barely. Hooked, is my red dude. light flashing? Yes, sir. Oh my god, I gotta get a picture with that one, dude. There you go, big boy.